you for the dedicated people doing their best each and every day to bring more love, unity, and patience to our communities and still see the violence continue. Since Easter weekend, 13 people have been killed and 37 shot in Chicago. And I wonder nationwide how many black people have been victims of census violence since Easter weekend. Uh, as I said here, in Chicago it's been 13 deaths, how many across this nation? Our task, black people, is to find a way to bring more love, unity, and patience to our communities. And in my humble opinion, the only way we can do this is to dwell on our bad history. You know, the history that is unpleasant and hard for us to talk about. And understand, uh, black people, we are diff different from any other race in America simply because our history is different from any other race in America. We are the only people in this country whose ancestors did not come here to America seeking a better life. Our ancestors came to this country in chains and on slave ships. Mm. Now, physical slavery was abolished in 1863 but what we did, black people, is went from physical slavery to mental slavery. Understand, uh, the United States dilemma when slavery was abolished, millions of black people free, but really not free. We were segregated, which automatically implies you are not as good enough as other races uh, in this country that you live in. Uh, there were many places you were not allowed to go because of the color of your skin. You could not go in certain stores. Laws were passed to make you feel inferior to other races of people. So self-hate started manifesting because of the way we were treated, and that's what we are living to this day. Think about this, black people. Our ancestors lived in a country where every race in the country had every, every freedom given to them except us. From 1863 to the present, we are scarred from slavery, and a lot of the negative things that go on in our community is because we have not acknowledged the hurt that we feel from many years of systematically being taught to dislike one another. Uh, I recall a radio station a couple of years ago that had a question, how can we stop the violence in our communities through song, poetry, or dance? And I say you cannot. We have psychological scars from history, and song, poetry, and dance would not abolish them. And as you know, dedicated people work every day in our communities trying to stop the killings and violence. We have speeches, marches, meetings, cap programs, gun turn-ins, rallies, all good things, but they have not resonated enough to take effect to stop the killings that go on nationwide with black people. So my point is what we need to do, uh, even though it's hard, we need to go to the bad history and discuss it. Uh, I know it won't be easy. Uh, it's like a paradox. Someone once asked me, how can something good come out of uh, something bad? He said, you know, slavery's over. Why are you bringing that up? But that's exactly my point. What we are living is the systematic way that we were taught through generations to dislike each other, and that's what's going on with us today. Now, I've heard people say, man, you know, slavery's over with, but what we need to do uh, is dwell on it in the sense, not so you will hate or dislike anyone, but what you want to do is realize that, like every race of people, we have a history, and our history was really not that good, and that's why a lot of people don't want to talk about it. Now, to better understand what I'm humbly trying to say, think of your earliest memories when you were a child. The person who nurtured you was once nurtured by someone else. So uh, my point being, uh, if you go back, you have to think about how hard it was in this country for black people at one time, and that's what we were living. We were not offered the same opportunities and the same things that other races of people were given just took for granted. Perfect example, just close your eyes and think if it was 1929. Just like now in 2014, in 1929, black people lived in this country, and again, it was not very pleasant for them. They had blatant racism and were constantly reminded daily, you are not as good as any other race in the country in which you live. These inferior feelings have been handed down from generation to generation, and again, uh, that's what we're living today. And uh, it might seem a little redundant, but that's exactly, again, black people, what we need. Uh, for an example, it's just like if you were going to school and you had homework, you wanted to go over it over and over again until you registered in you and you understood what it was that you were learning. It's the same thing. We need to think about all the hardships that people that came before us went through, and it would help you to understand exactly what's wrong with us as people. Uh, in 
in order to do that, I'm going to ask you, whoever you are listening to me, personalize it. Are you satisfied with the way that your life is going? When you walk out of your house and see the way we interact and treat one another, are you satisfied with that? What can you do to foster more love, unity, and patience among black people or all over this nation or wherever you may live? Uh, again, I want to go back to what I was saying about the killings and the violence. To me, this is really a crisis. Uh, you think about how many people that we are losing. We are losing far too many black people all over this country, and the only way to reverse this, in my opinion, is start talking about the bad history. And uh, that's all I want to say. Again, black people must find a way to start loving each other more. And one other comment I'd like to make, uh, I don't know if you're aware of it, but the U.S. Attorney uh, Office is creating a special unit of 16 prosecutors to tackle violent crime. You heard that word prosecutors. I hear nothing about educating. You know, without uh, education, my people perish, and that's what's going with us. Going on with us as a people, we have never acknowledged or understood the forces that drive each and every one of us each day. So uh, my point being, they're not saying anything about really trying to help these people out here. What they're saying is they want to lock up more. 16 prosecutors to do what? They haven't said anything about what we want to educate people to why they act this way or anything like that. So what we need to do is focus on what unites us and not what divides us. And one thing we all have in common, black people, our common denominator is we are all descendants of slaves. And we have to start there and remember that we came to this country uh, in chains and on slave ships. And uh, even though it's not a pleasant subject, because there's a lot of bad things going on, but at the same time, uh, black people still prosper. We are very strong people. Uh, we've come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. So what I'm asking everyone to do is think about how you can foster more love, unity, and patience in your communities and what we can do as a people to stop these killings and uh, along with the strategies that are in place, the marches, the speeches, cap programs, gun turning, and those are great. Let's continue to do that. But along with this, we need to talk about our bad history and I'm asking everyone, uh, again, what can we do as a people to love each other more? W Thank you. WCSU Radio moving on the map. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and ask this man some questions because I have a lot of questions and I, and I, I think this man has the answer. WCSU Radio moving on the map. Mary Mary, wait in the water.